The future of gas leak detection and repair involves bringing together two separate techniques to deliver what will be an unbeatable way to make life easier for the customer, stakeholder and our workforce. It will provide a quick resolution of problems, it will be safer, less disruptive, environmentally friendly and economically it really makes sense. NGN colleagues and partners Scotia Gas Networks and Balfour Beatty explain. The operator in the rear of the van, he has a computer screen that he's watching constantly and he's also listening. In touch more, mate. On the screen, he's got a live visual feed from a camera that's inside the main, but he's also got two acoustic screens that are going to give him uh, points of interest to stop and listen to. So he'll see the graphs lift and that designates that there's noise in the main. So he's looking for any joints, any tappings on the main, any connections that are going to have uh, an acoustic interest. So we'll stop on each piece that we find just to make sure that they're actually sound and there's no leakage there. Leak detection has been done on gas networks traditionally the same for the past 30 years or more. The step change in this is going to be such a huge advancement and it's going to reduce the time spent on site looking for leakage and then it will also consequently reduce the time of having a leakage repair. So you haven't got customers ringing in constantly saying there's still a smell of gas. This is the second piece of the combination. The core and vac machinery that's already in use in some areas but has never before been used in conjunction with the acoustic investigator camera that can hear and see leaking gas. I operate the corn vac machine. Um, we attend gas escapes and we fix them through keyhole surgery. First of all, you get your drilling rig on. You then attach a small pilot core that will give you the depth of the tar. You then use a bigger diameter core which would be 600. You can then basically measure the depth using a smaller core. Once we've used the core, we use the vacuum and air lance to remove the spoil from the excavation. Once the spoil has been removed, it's stored in the tank for either reuse or taken away to a landfill site. We then use long handled tooling to repair the gas escape. Once that's happened, we then use type 1 to refill the hole. We use a compaction monitor and a tamper plate to basically tamp down the spoil. And then we use a grout to be able to uh, reinstate the actual core that we've taken out. And then within 30 to 45 minutes, the traffic can drive back over. The next stage is to tie the camera in with the core and vac operation. This has a range of advantages, from time saving to safety, environmental benefits and economy. Three very testing locations have been chosen to bring these operating systems together to see how they would perform and whether advances could be made that would make the partnership more efficient. We're at Toller Lane in Bradford, working on a gas escape. We've had a lot of issues here over the last few years, historically a lot of escapes at this location. And as you can see, it's particularly a busy road, especially in rush hour traffic. So we're creating a lot of problems in this location. I can't remember there not being roadworks and destructive roading. It's a busy road as it is, really busy road. And uh, the fact that it's right outside where we work, where the business is, it's disrupting business. More often than not, people think we're closed because of it. And I hope that's going to speed up the roadworks. It's going to be more than welcome to, work to any business.
The camera and Coran Vac have made a positive start working together, and a long standing leak has been found and fixed. However, conventional digging is still used to access the main for the camera to be inserted. Today we're at Harden Lane in Bingley. It's a residential area. We've got a six inch gas main running down the road. This section of main's got a history of leakage, so this new technology will help reduce the disruption to the residents. The gas people are very frequent visitors to this road. There's obviously been a problem, probably a long-standing problem, and I think anything now that they can do to alleviate A, the time spent on digging up the road, and B, uh, affecting the traffic flow, which again on this road is an absolute nightmare, has got to be welcomed. Today, the leak was found right in the middle of a frequently used driveway. Yeah. With a conventional escape solution, Harris fencing and temporary lights may have been required. With the camera and core and vac systems, half the side road remains open, enabling traffic to pass. The core vac down to main, it's 1.4 to the top of main. So if we'd have been doing it beyond, uh, it would have been a deepex, all would have been 1.5 metres square, where they've only got it at 600 all the way down to main. Beyond, it would have been looking probably two days. From a safety point of view, you know, it's a lot better. Well, in terms of safety, you've got less uh, possibility of cable strikes. You're just using a core bit to go through tarmac in conjunction with the air lance. So you've got less risk, any damage to cables and other utility plants. The camera at main located joint that we've got uh, some interest on, marked it up on surface and they've core back down. And when we've got down onto the joint, exposed it, cleaned it and soaked it up with leak fluid and it started bubbling, so it proves it were leaking. This uh, innovation is fantastic for the customer. The traditional methods are quite lengthy from reinstatement process, whereas now we can be within a street at normal times at eight o'clock and by quarter past four, we're away and you wouldn't even know we've been there. Day three, and the crew is literally breaking new ground. For the first time, they're using the core and vac to excavate the hole that will allow the camera to be inserted into the main. This means time and money saved, road disruption minimised, a smaller environmental impact with less backfill material needed, less risk for the workforce and, importantly, less physical strain on them too. This morning we're on Laytop Lane in the centre of Bradford. It's quite a narrow road so there's access issues. We've got a couple of factories nearby as well. There's wagons going in and out today. One or two residents have expressed a concern that there's a quite a strong smell of gas so it's quite important that we're in and out and we can reassure them that we've got the leak sorted. This method of working is going to be such a leap forward. It's going to be the difference between open heart surgery and keyhole surgery, basically. It's a good analogy, and to finish it off, the scarring is minimal and enables NGN to resume normal service quicker than ever before. The work has been less intrusive for NGN's stakeholders and has created a safe environment for its people. Looking to the future, the aim is to eliminate the need for them having to enter an excavation ever again.